So this question is a diagram question. I say that because we have this table provided here, right? So more specifically, this is a table question. So what's going on in this table? So we have shipping charges as the heading here. Our first column is merchandise weight in pounds, and our second column is shipping charge, right? So based upon the weight, we have a different charge to ship the weight of that merchandise. So the question goes on to say here, the table above shows shipping charges for an online retailer that sells sporting goods. There is a linear relationship between the shipping charge and the weight of the merchandise. Okay, so anytime I see this word linear on the SAT, I'm immediately going to think Y equals MX plus B. Of course, where M is the slope and B is the Y intercept. Okay, so there is a linear relationship between the shipping charge and the weight of the merchandise. Which function can be used to determine the total shipping charge, F of X, in dollars for an order with a merchandise height of X pounds. So I'm going to need to use the information from the table to fill in this equation here. It looks like we're using F of X instead of Y, so that's fine. I'll just say F of X is equal to M X plus B, right? F of X and Y are always interchangeable, so to keep that in mind. So then I want to figure out, well, how do I find how do I find the, how do I solve this equation? So what I'm going to do is look at uh, two, of the, two of the data points here. I'm going to look at the second two. So the second row tells me that when the weight is equal to 10, the shipping charge is equal to 21.89. So that's like an X and Y value. And when the shipping charge, or when the shipping weight is equal to 20, the shipping charge is equal to 31.79. So when I use these two bits of information, I can fill in my equation, right? So I can find my slope by using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, this is the first x term that I'm using. This is the first y term I'm using. And then the same for here, second x term and second y term. So I'm going to just fill that in. So 3179 minus 2189 over 20 minus 10. So the denominator is just going to be 10. The numerator is 99. It's 31.7. So we can't use a calculator here. So let me just show the math instead of doing it in my head. Minus 21.89. So that's 0. Borrow 7. That's 9. Borrow. And that's 9. So $9.90. Divided by 10 is just going to be 0. 99. So we know that our slope is equal to 0 0.99, which is helpful because that means choice D and C cannot be the answer because the slopes there are 3.39. And then the last thing to do is to find our Y intercept. Like what does B equal? So to find that, I'm going to go back to my equation, F of X equals, instead of MX, I'm going to say 0 0.99X plus B. I'm going to fill in an ordered pair again here. So I'm going to use, let's use the top one, 5 and 16.94. So I'm going to say when x is 5, f of x should be 16.94. And then I have some more math to do here. And the truth is, I can tell already that the answer was going to be b. Because for a, there isn't a y-intercept, and here we're definitely going to get b equals something, right? This is not going to, 0 0.99 times 5, when I subtract that from both sides, is not going to cancel out the 16.94. So I get something there, and there's no need for me to continue on, because b must be the correct answer there.